and I will talk about all these steps but before that let's add a collision to add collision it's a slab we will use this static object let's use merge it says left input effects right input so that's correct and paste path over here so we can visualize here okay let's run this simulation and you can see we can see some penetration over here and first thing we can visualize our collision geometry here so if i click here so it's showing me this is the like basically our collision and second thing we have to always check go here and always check this collision guide geometry right so this is what so we are providing this thing and basically it's building its own geometry based on these divisions if i increase this division so you will notice it's right so you can increase this one more right and you can notice so if i increase more value here then it will give me slow simulation right so best way we can give a volume sample so here it will ask for a proxy volume so here we can use a vdb and we can use vdb from polygons right so but best way we can use this collision source right so it has these two outputs one is for polygon and second one is right so we have to set a voxel size over here and and let's call this here right so this is what i'm getting and if i pin this here and let's increase voxel size We are getting an accurate result here right and also we have to link this voxel size with this particle separation and we can do that okay for that i would create a controller separate for that let's use null give okay, a black color i need round shape let's name it Cool. and so click on this gear icon and edit parameter interface so it will show me bunch of these parameters like this and to add any parameter so one thing you can do here is this that you can add parameter here and one best way you can just click here and drag so it will give me some error right so to bypass this error we can go here and check off this parameter right so now it will work and second thing we need a voxel size as well so let's create this here cool now we have this particle separation and how do we calculate this particle separation one thing we can do here is we can copy paste here and second thing we have to multiply with this grid scale it's the same thing that uh, self tool does right so we can now link this paste this relative reference and separation also we can paste over here
cool so now we have this control over here i want to hide these two parameters all looks cool so now everything is linked right and if we increase this uh, particle separation right so it's now it's working properly let's hide this yes 